A lot of people are starting to store water in a variety of containers. Some of the containers are closed, others are open. And these are potentially suitable breeding sites for mosquitoes, understandably. But at the same time, I must acknowledge that with the dry conditions, many of the original habitats of mosquitoes have dried out. So there's a balance and no one's really investigated it. I feel quite confident that many of the containers that people are using, um, particularly Jojo tanks, will support mosquitoes. There's enough bacteria and algae for their larvae to feed on. And whether you've got an overflow pipe or perhaps an open inlet, that's sufficient for the female mosquito to lay the eggs and contaminate the water. One of the best things is to use paraffin, which is burning oil, um, liquid paraffin. One mil is sufficient, it coats the surface of the water and that effectively clogs up the breathing apparatus of both the larva and the pupa. And the, the, the drawback is that it is toxic and if the water is going to be used for drinking then you need to filter it out or just extract the water below this top layer. Now the life cycle of the mosquito starts with an adult which lays eggs usually near the water source and of course this could be the inlet to your water storage tank. And this develops into a larva and this is the vulnerable part of the larva. It's a little breathing tube which must break the surface tension of the surface of the water. If you have a layer of oil, in fact any oil on the surface over there, this little siphon gets clogged up and the mosquito larva dies within a few hours. Now eventually this thing turns into a pupa, takes about 10 days and the pupa has got two very small horns at the top of its head over here for breathing and once again these can easily become clogged with any oil or lipid that you have on the surface of the storage water. And those mosquitoes have got different breeding habitats. So certainly their numbers um, probably will have dropped because the natural flays have dried out. But the house mosquito, which is the main problem in the suburbs, probably would increase in its numbers. Um, the problem is no one looked at the populations before the two dry years that we've experienced and then compared them with the populations that we have at the moment.